Shopify is great in a number of ways, but you may have noticed that Shopify has a very heavy use of canonical tags for product pages. They get around the duplication issues this causes with the use of these canonical tags, but it's not optimal for SEO. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of this and then show you step by step exactly how to fix it. Just quickly before we dive in, if you find this video useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's a massive help to me and I'll be sure to bring you more useful videos related to online marketing. So let's dive in. So on here, if we just scroll down a little bit on the home page to some of the products, if we hover over these, you'll see in the bottom left there, the URL is as it should be. So it's slash products slash hemp pro. If we go over here, we've got slash products slash accelerate slash product slash optimal sport. That's the canonical version. That's the version it should be. Now, what happens is when you get into a category or a collection, as it's known in Shopify, and let's start looking at the products there. When we hover over this, you'll see that now it's the URL is the collection and then it's appended by products and the product name. So here we have collections, sports supplements, products, grass fed way. That URL then relies on a canonical tag to then point to the slash products slash grass fed way version. Now on this site, it's not too bad because there's only a, a couple of collections. Um, but when you get to sites with a lot of collections, you can end up going down some real rabbit holes. And uh, you'll see if you've ever run a crawl on your site, you have a large Shopify site. Uh, you end up crawling a lot of these non-canonical versions of the product URLs. Um, they deal with it with the canonical tags, okay. Is it optimal? No. Some people claim to have seen good results by fixing this. Um, I'm not expecting to see great results on this because it's a much smaller site. But if I had a larger site, I would definitely want to, to switch this to the uh, so that all of these links just point to the canonical version. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if you log into Shopify and go to your um, online store and then themes, and underneath actions, you'll see there's an edit code option. And then within here, you'll have a list of folders. So you'll have things like layout, templates, uh, to scroll down a little bit more, sections, snippets, and assets, config. So what we're looking for is snippets. Now, the file it will be in, um, if you've ever seen anyone writing about this, they'll all say it's in a particular place, but it varies. So some people have said it's in product grid. You'll see there's no product grid here. Uh, some people have said it's in um, another product file. I've seen I've seen someone mention once it's it was in the uh, one of the collections um, files. So it would be within snippets. It will more than likely be within one of these product files as opposed to the collection one. Um, now, in the case here, uh, it was in actually somewhere where you maybe wouldn't expect it to be. It was in product thumbnail. Um, and you can see the first mention here. Now, sometimes there'll be one mention here. There's actually a couple. So what I'll do, um, this is what we're looking for here. I'll just bring that up on the screen, actually, so you can see. So this is what we're looking for here. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick search for product.url. Let's do that now. URL, and we can see we've got one highlighted here. And we've also got, let's do the search from within here. Let's get rid of that. I'm just going to do the search from within this product.url. So it's showing me all, all versions within there. So we've got one there. And we've got one there, and then we've got one at the bottom as well. So what we need to do is we want to grab this within collection, delete that all the way back to the pipe, so it looks like that. I'm then going to go down to the next one, grab 
within collection, all the way back to the pipe, I'm going to go down to the next one, and I'm going to grab within collection, all the way back to the pipe, and I'm going to save that. What I would say is, before doing this, just grab all of that file and just copy it, just in case you need to paste it back in, in case you, you kind of mistype or, or do anything wrong there. Um, but that's all done. So if we now go back to that collection, uh, where, when we hovered over, we had the collections in the URL. If I now refresh that page, and we start hovering over, you now see slash, oh, let's wait for that to load up properly. Good old site speed. And now, now you'll see we have slash product slash grass fed way. The same here. And if we scroll down, you'll see they're now as they should be. And this work, this would be the case across all of the collections um, that all now point to the canonical version. 